95 degrees, 80 percent humidity. This might be the worst decision we've made in Bora Bora. We're going to land. We need eggs and there's some history stuff we want to do. Maybe some hiking. Maybe. It's blazing hot and you think, oh you should be enjoying the water. Like stay cool, stay out of the sun. And we're like, no, oh, we should, we should go on a hike. about that place online? Yeah, they just said you'll see Perio's hanging from a tree. Stop. It's a little shop. And that's it was exactly a little shop. Dumb and dumber as they were doing both. I wonder which one was getting peed on. Just go, man. Oh. Uh, that sure is warm. <laughs> Before that dog almost killed you. I got you a pretty flower. Oh, a smell good one. Looks like it's got a fair amount of bugs on it though. Oh. <laughs> That's okay, look, we'll dust them off. Thank well, you. We can probably get another one. Yeah, this is perfect. Eh. Well, no. Oh. oh, you're looking for a man, I see. <laughs> this means you're married. This means you're single. Voila. The coconut crab. You can usually only find them at night, right? We knew they existed here. Man. I want to see one of those guys. I uh, know. If you've never seen like Blue Planet, I think. Oh, I can't remember. It's one of those shows. Anyway, they show these guys and they come out at night and they crack open the coconuts and then eat the meat inside. So it's, it's incredible. Wow. That is a monster. Wow. Is he heavy? He's very, he's very heavy and he's a small one. Wow. He can cut your finger. <laughs> he can yes. cut my finger. Yeah. If he can slice over that coconut, he can slice you. Hello, coconut. How are you? <laughs> Hello, coconut. How are you? It's my baby, coconut. How are you? <laughs> okay. It's okay. That's all right. Yeah, that's <laughs> amazing. <laughs> Maruru ra.
Yeah, they're full color. Those here is the 115 different ways to wear. 115? Yeah. And I'm going to learn them all. <laughs> okay. Voila. Voila. What do you think? Beautiful. Beautiful. No way. You ready to go to the beach? Ready to go to the beach. <laughs> just, just right there. <laughs> Voila, madame. Voila. Oh. Magic mirror. I like that one. Very cool. I mean, the double layer dress is really beautiful. Very cool. This way, I imagine for honeymoon. Okay. okay. This for your husband to go shopping. Our <laughs> <laughs> bedroom. Okay. No finish. Forget the shopping. Voila. Wow. Ah. Beautiful flower. <laughs> Lovely. I like it. Very, very Bora Bora. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. Okay. Oh. <laughs> yeah, you feel for him. He knew at night, come sleep, wake you. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing tonight, today. I have you wait till you come with me. Hello, hello, hello. I can't bring the player. I love you. Yeah. Just a random Coca Cola. You never know when you're going to need a Coke. Are you coming with us? Are you my new friend? Yeah? Oh, nope. Okay, never mind. <laughs> That's too far. It's too hot. <laughs> it's too hot. Want to be on top? I want to see how much they are. Coke Zero's only one. Coke's one. 140. 160, 160, 160, 160. Okay. I think we're here. It's our first stop. There's supposed to be like a World War II cannon up here. Thank you very much. Thank you, very much. Thank you, Marima. Thank you, Marima. Captain Cook dropped his hook here in 1769, and I can't help but wonder, what would he think of today's honeymoon paradise? There are still 50 shades of blue, but so many significant events have shaped this island into something altogether different. Bora Bora loosely translates to firstborn, meaning it was the first to emerge from the sea. Its warriors were fierce, and the battles were constant in the early days. The French annexed the island as a colony in 1888, but it was World War II in the United States that brought Bora Bora into the modern era. After the bombing of Pearl Harbor in Hawaii, the U.S. Navy set up a base along with an influx of nearly 7,000 men, and these cannons strategically placed on every corner of the island. That's big. Can you imagine? Like yeah. that thing actually going off? That's insane. It must have been so loud too because they're just surrounded by rock. Like deafening. It looks like a cannon, what we would call a cannon, but I think they actually call it a gun. I don't know what the difference is. 
Bora Bora never did see any war, but with the new infrastructure in place, the airstrip became all of French Polynesia's only international airport until 1960. This must be where they stored the ammo. Oh yeah, totally. Yeah, I think they call that a gunnery. Gunnery? Gunnery, where they keep the bullets and stuff. What you want, kid? It's gonna cost you. <laughs> And the reason they chose Bora Bora is there's only one way in and one way out through the reef, so there's only one cut, and that's why it's like the perfect place to have, I guess, a base or whatever they had here. Uh, also, it's perfect timing for us because it's just started sprinkling. Oh yeah, we're gonna get some rain. That's the trail that supposedly goes to some mares, which are the like places where they used to live. Mares are like gathering places, gathering so places. it could have been for festivals or events, or it could have also just been where like royalty lived. Yeah, and apparently that trail keeps going on to the other side of the island, and there's another cannon or World War II gun there. So, oh, it's actually really starting to rain once we get out of this. Hold it, I'm gonna put the camera away. Yep, it's totally raining. I don't think we're gonna go on that trail. Plus, we don't have enough food. Yeah. I'm always hungry. So to town we go. What is the deal with us and getting rained out? <laughs> Whew, thoroughly soaked. But here, it's not 100 degrees. That is good. Exactly, I will so take the rain. Yeah. That was fun. Yorana. Welcome to Big Town. Big city. Big city. Big Bora city Bora's and Bora Bora. Big city. Buy it. Buy a, buy a top, buy a tape. Buy a tape. Via, via, via. Yeah. <laughs> Fail. Fail. <laughs> nice uh, parallel parking. Nice. Like a pro. It's the curb. Right? Cruise ships are in. Two cruise ships. This is as busy as it's ever been, literally. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know why they were waiting there. Surfing boat wakes. It's one way to get your kicks. So this is town. Right there is the little, I guess, or what did you call them? The dock? Quay, they call it the quay. Quay, the quay. Yeah, so quay, so we docked right over there, and this is it, it's the one strip that is town. And our favorite lunch guy is here, still. Woo, I'm hungry. So there's usually a van parked right there. That serves really good sandwiches. But that's not his van. right here which is next to the first store which is like the China Lee or whatever. So don't buy from here unless you're just really not wanting to walk. Otherwise you go the opposite side the other direction you have five to walk, walk. A, a little ways but like five to ten minutes and there is another section it's much quieter and it's no joke half the price. So it's like this is where they get all of like the cruise ship people I think and so everything's double the price but if you walk that way if you want pineapples, mangoes, bananas, avocados, cucumbers, anything. Anyway, that's where you get them from the local. That's real love. Hola. <laughs> okay, we have 
potato salad with tuna and a seared tuna tune blanc ginger salad and baguette which you've already been introduced to uh we do not have any utensils there's one in the package whoa really uh-huh oh that was pretty down to just eat with my hands <laughs> Thought we were gonna have time to actually go swimming or snorkeling or do something else today, but that's by the time we get back to the boat, that's the day. It's nuts! It's been awesome, it's been fun. It's almost sundown or done. That's always good. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, you can't, you can't complain. And I got a period. Successful day. Right? Hell yeah. So glare. Oh no. yeah. Yeah. It's a wheel. That's totally random. Wow. You never know what you're gonna find out here. No, I just slowed down just to see what was down there and it's boom, it's like a steering wheel for an old boat. Cool. We're gonna see a manta, I know it. Manta patrol. Manta. Shot. Nope. No love. I don't care. <laughs> it's so hot. I can't even think straight. <laughs> Dear Bora Bora, you've seen many changes, but please, oh please, don't ever lose your seductive shades of blue. Tinga. Tinga. Hi. Just bring me a beer. Okay. That sounds good. <laughs>